What's up guys, how you doing? Thank you very much for checking out the video and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while. It's been, what, well over a month? Well over a month since I last put out a video or did anything bushcrafty. Um, so I'm really, really happy. I'm absolutely stoked to be back out at my camp uh, to spend the night here. Uh, today I'm going to uh, completely wreck my shelter. I've decided I don't like it. I don't want to keep it this way. Uh, and I want to do something new, but I've no idea what that is. So uh, in today's video, my main aim really is just to get rid of this. Uh, I'm going to spend the night out in a hammock today. Um, I'm going to practice some uh, some axe skills. I haven't had my axe out for a while, so I want to uh, I want to clean that up. It's covered in mud and stuff like that, and uh, and it needs sharpening. So I'm going to do that as well. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we're going to get a fire going, get the hammock set up. Uh, I'll show you how I do uh, do all of that, uh, and I'm going to have a think about what I want to do with my camp in the future. So uh, it should be a good video. I hope you enjoy it. It's four o'clock now, um, so I've probably got, I don't know, a few hours left of daylight anyway, but uh, but I do need to get cracking. Um, the weather today has been so unpredictable, it's been really, really weird. One minute it's absolutely peeing it down with rain, the next the clouds part and the sun comes out and it's really bright and lovely and warm, um, so I have no idea what it's going to do tonight. Uh, I mean, it's actually starting to rain again now, I mean, literally 10 minutes ago, as I was walking here, it was really, really bright and sunny and now, now it's raining again. Uh, so I want to get some tarps up. Uh, to get some cover um, so that my camera is nice and safe uh, and I can film properly. Uh, I've got two tarps with me, obviously I've got this one that's here on this shelter uh, and I've got my usual DD tarp as well. Uh, what I tend to do normally when I'm here is put my DD tarp out over the fire to protect it uh, and so I can sit under it uh, and then obviously my shelter has its own tarp um, but I need a tarp over the hammock and if I, the trees I usually use to get out of the fire does mean See, see, what is this now? Oh man, I need to get the camera away, it's getting soaked. Yeah, um, gonna have two tarps out, hammock under one, other one over the fire. You'll see, gotta get the camera under cover. See what I mean? Now the, <laughs> now the clouds are gone and the sun's coming out. It's really weird. Very English. Right. Okay, so that is the majority of the camp destroyed. Time to get the top up. <laughs> so weird.
Now I know this looks a bit mad. It might be a bit mad, <laughs> but I'm gonna try it. Hopefully what I was saying earlier now kind of makes sense. So I've got one tarp that's out over the fire to do, uh, protect that from the rain. Uh, it gives me a bit more filming space where I can put the camera if it does start to rain. And then once I set my hammock up, which will be under here, between these two trees, then I am nice and protected uh, from the weather when I'm asleep tonight as well. I hope that makes sense. And one thing I do need to be aware of is where this tarp ends, because now the fire obviously is going to be a little bit closer to the tarp that's further down, but I'm not having a massive fire, um, so I don't see it being a huge problem, because <laughs> crust. Uh, right, what's next? I'm walking towards the camera like I'm going to move it, but I haven't actually decided what I'm doing next. Next, uh, I want to clear the bed away, um, get rid of all that stuff that's back there, and uh, get the hammock up. So, let's do that. Try a different box. I'm good at this really.
I'm doing now is replacing these Prusik knots because I used old paracord on new paracord and I don't know if that's why everything fell apart. I'm going to assume it is rather than my bad knot tying. says confidently. I am going to save my bed, I'm not going to get rid of it, as opposed to the fire reflector and the A that I made the actual shelter out of. I think I'll burn those because I don't need them, but I'm going to keep my bed. Um, I don't know what I want to do with camp, but I might want to raise bed. And af, uh, af, if I haven't already made, then more's the better. It is supposed to rain, so I can't give up. What to do? I wonder if I was to do it, rather from that tree to that tree, if I was to put the second tarp from that tree to that tree, so it comes further out, could I then pull it down at the end, so the wind is hitting the side of it rather than the top? Yeah, the biggest problem I've got is I, I need another tarp up because it's going to rain apparently in an hour. Wind is not helping. Right, okay, well, there's no point standing around, so I might as well try. Oh! Where's 
use it. Tell you what, actually, if I just use maybe that tie up point and then that down to the ground, maybe. Alright, well, with this far, let's just keep going. annoying and it started raining again I have just kind of managed to get some kind of setup finished I have absolutely no idea if it's gonna hold uh, and I've managed to completely obscure my view which is kind of the whole point of me being here in the first place so that is a might annoying but we live and learn as I said, I have no idea what I'm doing with this particular setup. Um, it's purely because I wanted to look out with my bloody hammock, and now I've had to cover the view anyway, so... Whatever! Sorry, I'm having a beer. And then we'll get a fire going. I'm having fun, honestly. <laughs> Cheers. Want to see my view? My current view? Yeah, how nice is that? It's not even raining now either. There's no need for that to be up. Except for at about 6 o'clock until 7 o'clock when it's going to pee it down. If it doesn't pee it down, I'm going to be angry. Oh, and after all that, the wind's now died, out, died down. There's nothing. Oh, my word. Right, anyway. Um, <laughs> that was such a pain, and now it's gone. Anyway, um, yes, now that that is kind of finally done, um, don't get me wrong, I dislike the way that this looks very, very much, and there is now paracord and ropes everywhere um, the only kind of big the only kind of benefit um, is that when it does get really sunny at least I am now nice and shaded and I think think relatively sheltered from the rain when it should come any minute now although the sky is now nice and blue and it doesn't look like it's gonna rain British weather oh, so uh, next port of call is to finally uh, get the hammer cup so uh, I'll grab the hammock and I'll, uh, I'll show you how I do that. My hammock is a DD Frontline hammock uh, and I've packed it away into this case, uh, which actually is for the under blanket. So the under blanket is a really good way uh, of staying warm when it's cold. It's, uh, it's a big blanket that fits under the hammock, hence the name. Uh, but I've managed to pack everything uh, into my under blanket uh, kind of compression case um, because it makes it easy to carry rather than carrying one bag for the under blanket, another bag for the um, hammock itself. So, hammock itself is here. It comes with its own kind of tie out ropes. Um, it's got two of them. Come here. Got two of them on each side that go around the tree. Um, and then it's also got a piece of elastic here. Sorry, there and a bug net as well. The piece of elastic ties to the tree um, above the tie-out ropes um, so that you've got a bug net, so you've got a load of protection from any bitey creatures that may wish to get in bed with you, <clears throat> which is absolutely awesome. Uh, the great thing about this tarp is it uh, is configured so that you can kind of roll the uh, the bug sheet up if you don't want it, uh, and just, uh, you know, if you're lying around um, during the day, you could have the uh, you could have it without the, the bug sheet and it, uh, it would work really well as well. Anyway, let's get this up. Put myself in a little bit of an awkward position here with filming now that I've put the tarp up, but still. Uh, right, so the way that I put these up is separate the two cords and go around the tree. And then what I do is tie uh, an overhand 
knot at the back, uh, which is kind of the first bit of tying your shoelaces, a kind of bow like that, if you see what I mean. That just against the tree, come a back round, and then all I do is essentially a shoelace type bow, um, but the initial over and under bit, I do twice. Pull that tight against the tree, and then just, as I say, normal shoelace type bow. And that will actually stay and it supports my weight. And so I'll show you that again on the other side. So as I said before, come around the tree. So, sorry, my two lines around the tree. Overhand knot, pull against the tree, come back round. Just need to loosen this off a bit to make sure that the whole hammock is underneath the tarp. There we go, lift her up a bit, otherwise I'm going to be on the floor. And then I finish off the knot with the, uh, the two loops and then the, the normal kind of shoelace knot, as I said. So, as you can see, I have the hammock at about waist height. Kind of, kind of level in level with my bum, uh, so that when I get in it, as you can see, hopefully takes my weight. I'm nice and comfy, not too close to the ground, but also not floating in the sky either. I've had a hammock set up like this for numerous days um, and never had to retie it. Um, these knots. Uh, that I learned from Mike from TA Outdoors and also Mike from uh, MCQ Bushcraft. Uh, I watched their videos on YouTube uh, and they've basically just copied their knots using this exact same um, hammock and it's, uh, it's brilliant, works wonders. So um, now that the actual main bit is done, the one important thing to note is that you can see that the hammock itself is entirely under the tarp so that if it does rain, um, I stay nice and dry. Uh, right, so next thing to do is tie out these um, bug net straps. These are really simple. Uh, they actually, before I tie them out, I need to put these in. So these are almost like normal sort of tent pole type poles uh, that go through a little flap here. So it spreads them out so it doesn't um, so it adds some shape to the, to the uh, hammock itself and so they don't sort of fall flat on your face. So then when I pull this up and tie this out, you can see the hammock itself starts to take shape. And the knot I'm doing here is what I always do, which I learned from Mr. Joe Romanet, who's a taut line hitch, which is, you remember, two on the inside, one on the outside. Do the same on the other side. Alright, so as you can see, this is kind of now how the hammock looks. Uh, I've got loads of space, and as I said before, the bug net um, is brilliant and keeps lots of horrible bitey things out. Uh, there are bitey things in the air today, I have seen them, so I'm very glad to have it. Um, the next thing I need to do is attach the under blanket to keep me warm. Um, I mean, it's not going to get cold tonight, but I like to be quite toasty in bed, so I'm going to put the under blanket on anyway. Um, a good tip while you're doing this, because the idea is um, the closer the under blanket is to you when you're in the hammock, uh, the kind of the less air can get in, if you see what I mean. So it, it kind of keeps you warmer, I think is the idea. Um, so I've been told it's a good idea to kind of weigh the hammock down a bit as though there was something in it as you attach the under blanket so that you can adjust it better. Um, so to do that, all I'm going to do is pop my sleeping bag in. So I'm going to unzip the hammock. grab my sleeping bag, Ooh, mind the beer, and shove it inside. Um, another thing to bear in mind when you're sleeping in your hammock is um, if it's not perfectly level, because most hammocks aren't, um, it's a good idea to sleep with your legs slightly raised, apparently. So I reckon I'll be 
this way with my head up at this end. So weigh it down just a little bit with the sleeping bag, close up the fly because I don't want any bugs in there, uh, and grab the under blanket. So as you can see, hopefully, I don't know, the shadow might not be great, um, there's loads and loads of pieces of little bit of elastic with uh, carabiners on. And all you do is clip the carabiners around the really obvious tabs that are on the hammock. Obviously, because this is an under blanket, it does go under your hammock. The first two here go on the tie-out ropes. And then as I say, you just go around and clip them all onto the really obvious um, high outer points. You say it's really obvious, not being able to find one? There it is. And you do this on both sides. I'm really doing my best not to put my muddy boots in my hammock. But as I say, these are ridiculously comfy and I'm just going to stay here for a few minutes before I get the fire going because after all of this ridiculous tarp putting up, which has been completely pointless because now the sun's out and it's not raining when it's supposed to, thank you very much, Apple weather app. Uh, I just dribbled on myself. Right, it's now half six and I'm starting to get hungry. Um, so I need to get a fire going. Um, and as I said at the start, part of the reason for uh, coming down today was to uh, get some practice in using my axe because I haven't used it um, for a little while. Um, and I want to make, make use of it. So this is my uh, uh, Gransfers Brooks uh, Ray Mears Bushcraft Axe. Um, it is a wonderful piece of kit that I'm very, very lucky to have. Um, I'll show you in a second. It's actually um, dinged up a fair bit uh, from where I've been using it, so I need to get some of the dings out and things like that before I use it. So for that, I brought my puck sharpener. Excuse me, the beer. Uh, and I'm gonna try and uh, clean up the blade uh, before we get going. You can see there there's a few dings in it. It's not quite as smooth as I want it to be, so I need to get those out. So, to clean up my axe, I've got my puck sharpener, which is apparently specifically designed for uh, axes. I don't know, if, <laughs> don't know if that's true, but whatever. Uh, I've got a little bit of just normal olive oil, uh, and I've got a few rags, and I've also got some boiled linseed oil, uh, some wood boiled linseed oil uh, for the handle as well. Um, which I may put on once I'm finished um, chopping with it. So all I'm going to do is pop a generous helping of oil on there to help it move. You can just use water, I think, with these, but I think, or at least I've been told, oil is better. Um, just rub that in there. Pop the axe at a slight angle, and all I'm going to do is make a circular motion using the, uh, the rougher side. Um, circular motion over the top of the blade. And after a little bit of time, turn her over, do the same on the other side, using the same side of the puck. And then when you're ready, you do the same with the finer side. Once you're done, you should strop your axe the same way you would a knife. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I brought a strop with me. 
Uh, so I have to make sure that I'm doubly careful and doubly, uh, I have to remember, doubly remember, um, to take care of my axe and, um, and clean it up properly once I, uh, once I get back after this trip. Because the puck is okay, but I still have a bit of a ding, unfortunately, in my blade, which I need to get out. Um, but time is getting away from me and I need to get my fire going and I want to split some wood and I want to practice with my axe. So I am going to leave that there and, uh, and crack on. So let's get some wood. Right, so, whilst the fire is establishing itself, um, perhaps I should tell you what I've been doing uh, and why I haven't been posting videos. Um, if, any of you, uh, if any of you watched my video, uh, not my last one, which was the uh, collaboration with Northern Limits Bushcraft and Survival, but the one before that, um, I mentioned that, um, at least I think it was that one. I don't know, it's been so long I can't tell. A few videos ago, I mentioned that I've just gotten a new job. Um, for those of you that don't know, I worked in hospitality for a long time. I worked in pubs and hotels uh, and worked my way up into the training team um, of a, a brewery and, and pub and hotel company. Um, I left that in 2000 and, uh, in the end of January 2020, so literally just before COVID hit. Um, not because I didn't like the company, the company were brilliant. I, I just wanted to do something else. The content that I was delivering um, didn't fill me with joy anymore and I, and I wanted to do something outdoors. I wanted to do something more like uh, like this, like bushcraft, the, you know, the stuff that I, I genuinely, truly enjoy. So anyway, um, I, I left that job and, I, and then COVID hit, so I essentially kind of um, <laughs> did nothing really uh, for about a year. But over the last few months, um, really to November kind of last year, uh, I've been being interviewed and so on and so forth. And anyway, I'm rambling. I got a job. Uh, so for the last um, month and a half, uh, I have been working essentially. Um, my job started uh, at the beginning of April and I was sent to uh, an outdoor activity centre in um, Devon, in North Devon, uh, to stay for a month. So I lived uh, in Devon for a month, uh, training with the guys there. Uh, and learning all kind of um, sort of behaviors, behavioral traits and, and outdoor activities. Um, and it was absolutely brilliant. Uh, I haven't actually said yet have I, what my new job is, which I should probably quantify so you actually guys, you guys actually have a little bit of context. Uh, my new job is an outdoor activities instructor. So it's kind of, it's still training, it's still coaching to a degree, but the content is something uh, much more akin to what I actually want to do with my life. So I'm really, really excited about it. So uh, as I say, the company that I now work for sent me down to, um, to Devon for a month to train. Uh, so I lived there for a month. I had an amazing time. Uh, now I'm back and I've just finished my first week um, at my new, uh, my new job in, at On Centre, um, you know, training, doing site-specific training, if you see what I mean. So we've done a, another week of uh, behavioural-based stuff and in the following weeks to come, um, we're actually gonna start doing some uh, kind of proper activity training uh, training us up to be able to deliver the activities that the company offers. So, a long story short, um, that is why I've not been posting uh, because I haven't been around. Uh, I haven't been where where I live. I haven't been in Surrey uh, for a long time, uh, and I honestly just haven't had time. The commute to my new job um, is a fair old whack. It's about an hour and fifteen minutes um, each way, so I don't have a lot of spare time. Um, which is not to say that I'm stopping doing this by any means. I certainly 
certainly I love making these videos, I love getting out and camping. Oh, sorry, I'm getting so much smoke in my eye. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, I love making these videos, so I'm going to 100% continue to do so. Um, they may just be a little bit more sporadic uh, than they used to be when I, you know, I, this was kind of my main focus and I didn't have an actual job. Um, but anyway, that is why. I have a new job. Uh, I'm really, really enjoying it so far and I can't wait to, um, to get my kind of training period, if you like, um, out of the way and to actually start delivering some, uh, some sessions. So uh, I'm really, really happy. So that is why I haven't posted for, oh Jesus, I haven't posted for over a month. Um, but yeah, that was a really weird way to end it, wasn't it? That was just so, I never write scripts or anything when I do this kind of talk to the camera sort of stuff. Um, I find myself just rambling and trying to think of something to say. All I really wanted to say is the reason I haven't posted is because I've got a new job and it's, it's taking up my time. Uh, but I'm really happy about it and I'm enjoying it and I will keep posting videos as and when I can. Um, you know, I'm now working five days a week, uh, so I only get two days uh, two days to myself. They're not necessarily always going to be back to back, so I don't know when I'm going to be able to do stuff like this. Um, so it'll just be a kind of a case of when I can do it, I will. Uh, the thing that I'm actually doing is, is, is also, it's actually an apprenticeship as well. Um, so there is a certain amount of uh, sort of academic work. Blimey, I bet you guys can't even see me, I can barely see anything. Wow. Um, yeah, there is a little amount of um, academic work that goes along with it. Um, so it's not all just fun and games and running activities, I actually have to work too. But as I say, I'm very, very glad I got the job. I'm very, very grateful to have the job. And I am um, looking forward to getting cracking. So that's why I haven't posted for a while. I hope that makes sense. I hope you guys forgive me. Uh, and I hope you'll bear with me because this is, uh, as I say, it's a really exciting part of my life and I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. So congratulations to me. Mm. Anyway, weird rant aside, uh, plan for the rest of today is to eat some food. Uh, I am hungry. I haven't brought an awful lot with me. Um, but what I do have, what I want to try out, is this. This uh, was bought for me uh, for Christmas, maybe, or my birthday. I can't remember which. Um, geez. And it's a cast iron skillet. Uh, I've never had one before. Uh, I've never used one. Obviously, it is tiny. You can see that just from like the size of my hand comparison. Uh, this was actually originally from like an M&M cookie dough cake like set thing, um, but I thought it would be cool to try it out on the fire. So I've got some black pudding and I've got some bread. Uh, so my plan is to uh, to fry up my black pudding. Jeez, Louise! Christ Almighty! Stop! It's my own fault for putting wood on. I don't know why I'm saying stop to the fire. Uh, plan is to, as I say. Um, Fry up some black pudding in this, uh, toast some bread, and have some black pudding on toast. And I have to keep my eyes shut. I look so weird right now. Wow. Four. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to do something about this fire. Yeah, black pudding on toast. It's going to be good. I swear to God I can speak. I haven't done this for so long. I'm so out of touch with how to actually talk to the camera. I'm really sorry. I will get better again, I promise. I promise. Um, it appears to be a dragon over the river. Ugh. Oh, it's so ashy. It's so ashy. Oh, well. Oh, look at all the ash. You know what? I can't even be bothered to toast bread. I've got like a, a three cheese bloomer thing and it looks so good. I just want to eat. So, we're not going to muck about. We're going to get our black pudding in the bread. And we 
we're just going to eat. Mm. Give it a little squish. Big. Oh no! Beer fell over. Oh, it's fine, it's empty. Well, cheers guys. Alright guys, well I've just finished my dinner, it's now 9 o'clock, uh, so I'm starting to lose the light. Uh, so I don't think I'm going to do anything else today really, um, other than relax, maybe listen to some music. I've still got a couple of beers, so I'll drink those um, and read my book while I can still see, which, uh, which won't be for long. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but um, I am starting to lose the light. I have to say I love it. I love when the days are long and it's 9 o'clock at night and it's still light, you can still see, you can still film, it's awesome. Um, yeah, I have to say I'm really looking forward to getting in the hammock, really, really looking forward to getting my sleeping bag in um, and going to sleep. Is that weird? I don't think it's weird. Yeah. As I say, that's me done, uh, done for the day, so I keep saying it, but I'll, um, I'll check in with you. Probably want to go to bed. So, for now, or for what will actually, considering the editing, be a number of seconds. I'll see you in a bit. As you can see guys, camp's all squared away, um, I had a really nice night, slept really well, uh, really warm, uh, no issues at all, uh, so I uh, really, really enjoyed my time out. Um, so, unfortunately there's nothing else for me to do uh, other than go in the search of breakfast, so thank you very much for watching guys. Uh, as always, if you're new here uh, and you enjoyed the video, please uh, feel free to hit subscribe, share it with somebody else, like, comment, all that good stuff, um, and I shall see you very soon in another video. Take care guys.